This is Talking with Frost Network. Everything on this show is opinionated, so don't be a mother. Enjoy the show. This episode 31, and we here with a special guest today, man. I hope she ain't got it on her, though. You yeah, know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, let them know who we here with today, man. Ah, uh, no, no. Uh, no, no, for true, true. Nah, mm-hmm. for real. Nah, thanks. <laughs> nah, it's no, no, Atlanta Avenue, no, 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 the movie, uh, sh- you know what I'm saying? And I do keep it on me. Yes, facts. <laughs> you heard? Nah, if y'all ain't see the last episode, you see why I said that, though. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But nah, shout out to y'all, though. You know, putting in, I ain't gonna lie, I've been watching y'all for years, bro, like, really, years. Like, I remember I was in Miami watching y'all, somebody put me onto it, and I was just like, damn, like, it just really caught on, you know, especially Man Man with his sayings and all that, and the runs, and, you know what I'm saying, yeah. it, it catch on, and then I seen you, I'm like, oh, shorty, active, like, <laughs> like, damn, like, who is that? And then I see they gave you more of a, a spinoff like with another segment with your own movie and everything so yeah how did that all come apart like okay so let's just take it back. way back like when did this start like initially? so for myself mm-hmm. for me i know everybody gotta know about deja vu mm-hmm. the vu too after mm-hmm. hours so from simpson road to camerson road like i was the waitress i, I waitress okay there. So, you know what I'm saying? The Wu, once the Wu moved from Simpson to Camelton Road, mm-hmm. um, like, but due to the space, we already had the notoriety because we was the only ones open at 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Okay. So, once we got to Camelton Road, we got all that space. Everybody started falling through. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? The, I'm talking about Rocco, Bankroll, oh, okay. Fresh. Yeah. Like, we used to have everybody the popular. The whole West Side. The club, was, yeah. the club just bumped. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like I said, at that time, we was the only club that was only after hours that stayed open at 10 o'clock in the mm-hmm. morning. Okay. So I waitressed in there. Um, DJ Tokars, my DJ Dre, mm-hmm. uh, DJ Money. Um, those were just our house mm-hmm. DJs, but they were like, and they still are like, yeah. Top name DJs in the streets. DJ Tokar is the mayor of the streets. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if you heard him, which you probably should. Yeah, have. I really um, have. Yeah. yeah. So, um, Nunu just became Nunu within the club. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Just known for waitressing, known for getting them drinks, just mm-hmm. getting them. However, due to hanging around Tokars, due to being the you know Boo family, yeah. I met Drizzle. Yeah. Man Man. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot, of people, yeah, yeah, a lot yeah, of people yeah. know him as that. Yeah, a lot of people know him as Man Man. Mm-hmm. But, you know, uh, met Drizzle through tow cars, just hanging around tow cars. Um, Drizzle came at me with a, 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 a scene. We was doing this movie called Numbers. Okay. So he came to me with this little scene, um, wanted me to do it. I actually did it. My first time being behind the camera or whatever, not knowing. And how was it for you? Like? Um... Oh, it was, if I can remember, mm-hmm. it was just like, it wasn't nothing for real. It was just like, because yeah, you don't really look nervous. You know how some people look like they trying to act? You know what I'm saying? You It's smooth for you, like. Oh, and then I'm going to be real, which I didn't even know I was acting. I was yeah, just, nah, 
cut the camera just you just be, going with whatever, the motion like yeah. yeah so he hit me with the first mm -hmm. uh actual uh movies i mean number the name of the movie is number so yeah. he hit me with that little scene mm -hmm. he did that little bit you know what i'm saying that was that i ain't gonna lie i used to dip and dab in music and yeah you know what i'm saying now we're gonna get into that we're gonna yeah, get into we, that I yeah, yeah, yeah. music back then um uh -huh. but like for mainly mainly it was just after hours new new yeah like they just made like that spot just made new new yeah that person mm -hmm. that movie then just uh that shit just, you know that shit just came and went shit. i was waitressing at club blaze um mm -hmm. around this time okay yeah shout out Which, club blaze yeah man. for real shout out club blaze <laughs> for sure, for sure. Word. day shift i was waitressing day shift mm -hmm. uh i want to say 2019 okay Jules hit me up again, you know what I'm saying? Like, Jules just hit me up for a little shit. But anyway, mm -hmm. he hit me up. He said, no, no, I need you. I need you. I need you for this. Mm -hmm. Pulled up. First um episode was nine for me. Yeah. Pulled up, did it, and it just went from there. Like, okay. you know, I, I didn't know, but, like, every week that I would pull up and film, you know, Jules mm -hmm. and Cheese, this was when Cheese was filming at the time, but she did they they would just be like, bro, like, you know them folks is with you, right? Yeah. Like you read them comments and I'm just like, no, nah, cause Everybody I'm not knowing. Like, yeah, I'm yeah. not. I'm just pulling up doing what mm -hmm. they asking me to do and just going on about my business. Yeah. And then like, oh, she just she <laughs> just grew from there. Like she just grew from there. Like mm -hmm. I I don't know. Yeah. I guess like, you know, just <laughs> But that's Her usually vibe, how it starts, though. Like, you know, like, when a star, they don't really notice it like that. Like, you, do you feel like you a star? Like, you got a whole movie, no. like, out here, like. <laughs> and I, the people be telling me, bro, you better get, you better, yeah. like, check yourself. Because yeah, you like, you really got to remember, are, like, yeah, you're, you're a public figure. <laughs> <laughs> that junk is funny. Yeah. <laughs> but I never, nah, I never okay. expected it. I never seen it. Mm -hmm. Um, one thing no Drizzle used to always tell me, bro, yeah. got it. Yeah, thanks. like he used to, and he still tell me to this day, like, mm -hmm. no, no, them folk won't you? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All yeah, right, bro. so let let's get into this though. Let's tell us about your upbringing. You know where you went to school, your parents, and all that, if you can. Okay, so my mom, um, mm -hmm. is from New York. Yeah. Uh, oh, where? What part? Uh. Don't get me. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to get you wrong on this. Don't get me wrong because, you know, y'all <laughs> yeah. be like, uh, wait, you could be from Queens, but not I from. I mean, we, it, it's still valid as long as it's in the little boroughs that we consider right. you good. Staten you know? Island. That's my mom. Right? Oh, from Staten Island? Yeah. Where she uh, was born. I, okay. have, I have family out there. Okay, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's where my mom originated from. She moved mm -hmm. here when she was in her teens. Okay. So, which, you know, she had me, my sister, uh, right. my older brother, um, from the West Side, MLK, mm -hmm. uh, went to Margaret Fane, was my elementary school, um, stayed in Allen Temple. Okay. Um, shoot, I mean, although I left Atlanta at a, at a, at a t uh, teenage age. Yeah, what, um, what age was I that? I was just, um, she wasn't teen, 11. Yeah, yeah. Left, I left Atlanta, Atlanta at 11. Mm -hmm. But I, we was always back and forth. Okay. Um, Atlanta, Colorado. I got some Colorado Springs oh, word? in me. Okay. Yeah, I got some Springs in me and I got some California in me. Okay. So just between these three states, you know, just growing up. Mm -hmm. But I am from Atlanta. Don't get yeah, it. Yeah, don't get it wrong. <laughs> Straight from the A, baby. Okay. Yeah. So tell us, like, uh, did you, before you started, you said it was 2019 before you got on the episode, right? Mm -hmm. Did you see yourself acting like any time before that? For nah, real? I was just a waitress. Like no skits, nothing? Just a waitress. <laughs> I was just a waitress. That's it. Dang. I okay. was just serving drinks. Like, yeah. Nunu was known for serving drinks. That's it. Oh, you must have had the fire drinks or something. I mean, man. just, I, or the, or the the one, I wasn't wasting no time. Was on yeah. I'm wasting no time. I need my money. Y'all y'all want to drink? I need my money. No, What's facts. up? And that just kept, you know, that mm -hmm. keep your, rep your, yeah, your reputation, your reputation going, going, going. People no, come facts. in, they looking for you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what that was. That's just how that started. Okay. So, I want to know, too, like, has any, like, you know, 
big public figures came to you yet and like say anything about the movie so far or seeing you on Atlanta Avenue? So I get a lot of viewers from that okay. scene Atlanta Atlanta Avenue. Mm-hmm. Not nobody big per se. So you yeah that came to me, but mm-hmm. I hear it though. Okay. You know what I'm saying? My oh uh my manager OG Red. Yeah, shout out to him though. He yeah, shout out thing. to OG Red, yeah. big OG Red. Yeah, mm-hmm. he uh. You know he did. But he's out there. Yeah. He has a summer safe, a mm-hmm. kids program. Actually, mm. it's called Summer Safe. So he he deals with a lot of people. Of course, you know he's in Atlanta Avenue as well. So yeah. you know, just him drizzle. You know, when they go out and they be about and they see people and they the first thing they be like Nunu, they be yeah. like that girl Nunu. But you know, not mm-hmm. nobody did for say yeah. came to me yet. But yeah. they will. Okay. They will. They will. So let's get into like some of the obstacles that you had doing like acting, if you could speak on good or bad. And it was just not even acting. It was more so of getting this movie together. Okay. So like when we first started to get the movie together, I had issues with getting a cameraman. Like we started, mm-hmm. we had a camera. We started with a red camera. Yeah. Uh, lost the red camera. Oh shit. <laughs> had to wait. You know what I'm saying? We was trying to get another red camera. Then, you know, weeks go on and go on and yeah. you're trying to do things within a certain amount of time. Mm-hmm. So once we figured out we couldn't just get the red camera after weeks, mm-hmm. um, we we circled back mm-hmm. and got somebody to do it. Yeah. And that didn't work out. Mm-hmm. So we had to let that go. I chose to let that go. Yeah. Um, that put off another couple of weeks. Uh, uh, Fig Panamera, uh, JT, mm-hmm. bigger figure, yeah, came from Africa. Now, shout out to him, though. Yeah, JT, <laughs> bigger figure, came from Africa mm-hmm. right around the time when we was trying to film this and find a camera and get the so. Done. This was around the time when he was shooting the film out, yeah, at the studio. So oh, I was, came, I was there so he came <laughs> okay. from Africa and started yeah. doing the film on mind you yeah you know drew him and Jules got that relationship mm-hmm. i do know jt bigger figure from the vu you know what yeah. i'm saying me and him both scorpios no, both birthdays both in november that's my dog though <laughs> anyway hey I, I ain't gonna cap he used to come through there and tell me the same thing mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying you a star new new you yeah. a star but anyway um so he came and you know he was doing this film on evidently he was filming that film on the iphone 11. Mm-hmm. Now I seen how you yeah. get down. Now I seen how you get down. So Joseph mm-hmm. said, man, we finna just do this shit on the iPhone. Mm-hmm. My iPhone 13 right here, we yeah. filmed that whole movie on that 13 right here. I the respect whole it. whole movie on I respect the it. I respect it. The now, hustle. in filming the movie, mm-hmm. we lost footage. What, the, the storage yeah, or something along that? Yeah, footage. Uh, instead of us... Getting uh uh, we just being real real. Instead of us getting the uh, we were supposed to have that hard drive. Mhm. They go Bluetoothing it from the phone to the computer. Oh, uh, and that's what. And not Bluetooth air dropping it. Mhm. And that's when the files they got, got the lost. pictures. Mhm. So we had to literally go back and refilm the bit first half of the movie. Oh. And man. then mind you, everything that we lost ain't even really. In the movie, Man, for real. bro. I'm when I tell you the footage. So wait, can you can you tell us the exclusively? The footage we lost was so. Can like, can the, you tell us what was it fire. about? Now I, I ain't dying down with my word, <laughs> but the footage that we lost, like it was that it would have just took it to a whole nother level. But again, learning experience. You Not know facts. what I'm saying? You gotta learn. So wait, you know I got a question since you told me that. <laughs> so what's the like the deleted scenes we didn't Bruh, get to see? What I'm was supposed about, to go down? Like, come on, I tell mean, us. Everything that basically went down that you see mm-hmm. went down. Mm-hmm. It was just a little more, more with detail, it. Okay. Was more shown, more detail. Mm-hmm. Uh, prime example. So Nunu, yeah, come everybody on. know what Nunu looked like. Mm-hmm. So that's why Nunu was putting on the wig. Yeah. Pulling up the wig, the mm-hmm. shade. All black. Yeah. So I had a scene where we were sitting in the hotel room. I'm you know what I'm saying? I'm going through the phone, going mm-hmm. through the list, JP list. I'm making calls. People still trying me. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. So I got all my yeah, stuff yeah. laid out on the bed, you know what I'm saying? So this one, I just really get everything together. Like, I mm-hmm. go in the bathroom, change my clothes. When I come out in the back, in the all black with yeah. the wig on. Nah, that facts. Just, I that remember just, that scene, yeah. That just showed, they just showed them, okay, now she, she finna turn up. Mm-hmm. Now she finna turn up. Okay. Yeah, that, 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 that's like one little one look that not even one look that's really a big part of the yeah that was scene that yeah. was that we lost because it that really turns shows you know what i'm saying like i said that brain brain new new out mm-hmm. like she tired now yeah. she finna disguise herself she got people looking for her nah yeah. I finna look for y'all so you know I'm, i want to know too because i rewatched the movie yo how many n- really old like money bro in the city bro like how many n- it was and on your J- list. JP took care <laughs> of everybody. Yeah. JP, and I didn't know mm-hmm. that my baby daddy was that nigga. Yeah. But he really, you know what I'm saying? If he mm-hmm. needed some, he ain't yeah, had he no, got you, he ain't yeah. got you. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And it was hella niggas. Yeah, nah. It was a hella, it was a hella niggas. Oh, nah, but I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I ain't like them aunties in the shop talking crazy about you when you was leaving. It was like, oh, she's stressing out. Oh, she don't need to be drinking Henny and all. I'm like, man, auntie, shut up, man. Auntie, like, <laughs> auntie and Miss T, I ain't gonna count. Yeah. So, auntie is actually the house mom at Blaze. Mm-hmm. Okay, she's okay. She's actually the house, that, how, that house mom. And when I tell you that how she act, yeah. that how she is. And it was perfect for like, that, Like, and Miss T, like, when they, 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 they back there in the dressing room, mm-hmm. that's what they do, you yeah, know what just, I'm saying? Yeah, like, just chill, yeah. They, they talk shit. They mm-hmm. met there with the girls, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, so facts. that whole vibe was just, I like, we needed that. Yeah, like, nah, I love <laughs> it. I love that. it. And it made it so authentic, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. tell me now, like, you know, you, you into music too. Mm-hmm. All right, so when did you start making music? My daddy. Because I be hearing the soundtracks for real. My daddy, a guitar player. My okay. daddy used to play for Betty Wright. Okay. So that, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. music is just in me now. Just going out there and doing it, I never um had the balls to until yeah. <laughs> getting around drizzle and mm-hmm. um K Rap. Actually K Rap. I got a song with K Rap. It's old though. Yeah. But I got a song with K Rap. Uh mm-hmm. just doing little stuff now where everything just really came out for the music wise with through the through the soundtrack. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah. Shout out to that. So yeah, that's just you know, like I said, I dipped and dab, but everything is out like mm-hmm. through that. Like okay. now, this is more uh, <laughs> more upfront. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. so tell me this, like growing up, what artists like influenced your style of music? Oh, Tupac. Love Tupac. Mm-hmm. Um. Love Tupac. Yeah. Just be straight up. Mm-hmm. Uh. Too young, but I was listening to N.W.A. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was religious listening to if I had no business listening to. <laughs> but mm-hmm. um, Tupac, really, though. Yeah. Really love that dude. Mm-hmm. It's like the first rapper I want to say that I ever just took hold to. Okay. Listen to the Ghetto Boys, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Growed up on Scarf, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Growed up on all that stuff. Okay. Yeah, but... Hmm. My own sound because I just like I'm not I don't be like oh well I'm I'm a I'm an artist I'm a you know what I'm saying I can't I don't know yes I don't know <laughs> okay so who would you say would be like your biggest critic of like what you put out like from the movies to like the soundtrack and everything who would you say is your biggest critic that be on you man man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's who I work with. Okay. So mm-hmm. he like the only one that like really be on you for real. I ain't gonna cap like. Yeah. He seem like he really be working like hard. He, like he he work hard himself. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just his own uh, resume. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? From his stuff. Yeah. Nah. Facts. <laughs> to you know what I'm saying? What we doing now? Mm-hmm. So yeah, that man work hard. You don't put it. Okay. You put that time in, and he's still doing it. Okay. So yeah, like, but yeah, I mean, just as I mean, just as far as somebody being consistent with me, um, yeah, yeah he about yeah. the only one. Him and Red, you know what I'm saying? OG Red, yeah. Mm-hmm. But that's them. They they my team. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So 
Yeah. I don't have no other team. I ain't. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't no switching up. And it's working. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ain't no switching up. So we see like, what y'all drop like every Saturday? Every Saturday at six o'clock. Okay. So how often do y'all record? We film every week. Every Actually, week? when I leave here, as soon as I leave here, I'm gonna hit Joe's up, see where they at. And we film it today. That's Mondays, nice. Tuesdays. We try to film Mondays and Tuesdays so that mm -hmm. they can edit yeah, throughout the weekend, it, have it, it mm -hmm. have it out by Saturday. But every Saturday, six o'clock, that's dropping. Oh yeah, you know I'm tuned in. Yep. So yep. let's get into you know noon with a movie too. Yes. <laughs> So, when is that, you know, is that in the works? We haven't actually, now, Jules, we were supposed to have started on April 15th. Okay. But some things just kind of um, fell through concerning Atlanta Avenue. Mm -hmm. And Jules has taken 100% uh, filming, directing over that. Yeah. Um, so, that kind of pushed back us starting it. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah. I'm, I need to let Jizzle get settled in what he doing. Yeah. Um, so that what's going on with Atlanta Avenue and how we filming and how it's coming out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? To figure out when we can squeeze in to start New New 2. But, oh, okay. she coming. She oh, got to yeah. come back home. No, nah, facts. She got to come back ask. home. I was going to ask because I ain't like how, you know, bro just choked you out like that. And then, you know. <laughs> I was an OT. Like, Detective OT. Nah, facts. Detective like, OT. Yeah. I wasn't feeling that like at all. Can I tell you, bro? Like, shout out to Ziggy. Mm -hmm. Slip Boy Ziggy. Yeah. I want to shout out his series too. It's called Zone the Series. It's on okay. YouTube. Okay. It's on, that's on some east side. I probably, you know, I probably seen it. Like, I probably got, I'm going to tap back in. Though. Yeah. See what's good that's with on it. some yeah. east side. He the director. He filming. He the director of that. Okay. Um, but yeah, man, pull Ziggy into this jump, man. When I tell you, when I watched the movie, mm -hmm. and I, even though we had our acting interactions, yeah. Well, and I watched the movie, and I seen this man. Mm -hmm. I you said, knew, boy, like... you just turned up. Mm -hmm. I said, well, you finna be a, a hated ass mother. <laughs> You, they, they finna hate you. Yeah. But they love it. I love mm -hmm. it. Like, I lead did his thing. Yeah, and he really keeping it up. Like, hey, hey, where you going, man? Don't even run. Like, I'm just saying, don't make me shoot you. You feel me? Click, click, hey, click. You feel? The bracelets is clicking. Shout to say, which one you want to go to hell or you want to go to jail? Yeah, you feel <laughs> Say, Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Yeah. But know what you did, Nunu. But what y'all did to JP? Nah, facts. You feel <laughs> Man, I tell you, bro, he did that. Mm -hmm. He really did that. Nah, facts. He really did that. So y'all having auditions for Nunu too? Probably so. Okay. Probably so. Of course, um, I'm probably gonna bring a couple people back. Um, I ain't gonna lie. Yo, you know, when y'all doing them auditions, I might want to tap in. Come you on, know? I'll let you know. <laughs> I'll let you know. Let's see if you want to pull up and get mm -hmm. in Atlanta Avenue. See, we, all, we always using fresh faces. That's really, I wanted to ask y'all for real. Come on. Camera, you know, man, man, come, come on, on, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nunu, you got Nunu right yeah. here. You, you good. All you got to do is pull up. <laughs> Say that. Yeah, 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 definitely. Mm -hmm. yeah, y'all ain't, ain't doing nothing after this. You can pull up. You know what I'm Say saying? Or we can just schedule something for next week. Mm -hmm. When we film next week and get you in. Yeah, because Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I'm usually... Bet. Let's do that. We can you do know? it, man. Hey. Y'all watch out for DJ <laughs> On the words, you feel me? Album, you know what I'm saying? You, did. you feel me? Yeah. So, you know, I want to get into um the next thing. Like, so, if a big movie, movie distributor was to come to you now, like, what you doing? And they trying to buy the movie from you. What you doing? I'm pretty sure we'll sit down and talk. Okay. We'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. We 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 gonna find out what makes sense. Okay, gotta make sense. Yeah, facts. Yeah. Cause I really I, I'm I'm looking forward to it. Cause everything y'all doing is positive. You know what I'm saying? And it's been going on for a couple of years. Even the message through it was really going on. Is y'all pushing a positive message at the end of the day? Like little bits and pieces, whether they want to say it or not, with the action and all that shit was going on. It's still something positive in it. You know what I mean? So appreciate that. You know, I I, I want to keep seeing it going. You yeah. Know? 
So I want to see Nunu three, four, <laughs> five. You know, for I'm sure. making a whole series. You know what I'm saying? For Until sure. it go, get on HBO. You feel nah, me? Nah, for real. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I nah, appreciate facts. that. So you know, with that, like, do you so, see yourself doing any like skits or start doing? Yeah, that? I mean, yeah. Because I really see you doing that for real. Yeah. And if you ready to do it, you know, I can make some calls and look you up. I'm, you know? I'm up for whatever. I'm up for all challenges. Mm -hmm. Now, what I do got coming up is a. Uh, Robert Slocum, um, okay. Eyes Film uh, Emperor, okay. Eyes Glued. Uh, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but anyway, okay. uh, my boy has a movie on Tubi called Slime Race. Okay. Oh, I'm going to tap in. Okay. Yeah. Tap into that because mm -hmm. I actually got him, mm -hmm. um, Antonio, light skin dude, light skin. His uh, name is Antonio. This is when you watch Slime Race. Mm -hmm. His name is Threat in Slime Race. And then uh, Sir Jones, they they like the three mm -hmm. main for his filming okay. and his movies that he got going on. Okay. Um. So I brought them into Atlanta Avenue as well, but mm -hmm. I have a, a role in uh, one of his movies called Stay Dangerous. Okay. So um, we haven't started on that yet because they he's he's in the middle of finishing up a, one of his other films. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, that is going to be scripted. Atlanta Avenue, not scripted. Okay. We just. Oh, y'all just go with the motion on Yeah, we run with that. Okay. Um, That's why it keep, you know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. So this is going to be something real new, different, because it's scripted. Mm -hmm. Um, It's going to be more uh, in depth. Yeah. I'm gonna have to, you know what I'm saying, put a little more, yeah, yeah. more into this. So that's what I'm excited about. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. Shout out to Robert. Yeah, thanks. So you know I wanna ask something too, you know, I don't wanna hold you too long with all these questions. Yeah, you good. So, you know, when people come up to meet you, do they think you be aggressive cause how they see you on movies? Cause you real nice, you know what I'm saying? You real respectful all that. Yeah. So like people be coming at you crazy sometimes, be like, Oh, she might be wow. Oh, let let, let me make sure she got it on her. You know, so when <laughs> Avenue first started mm -hmm. being in a club. I would hear people say, well, you really act like her. Like, you really, you really act like that. Yeah. But that's just being in the club. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I carried myself a type of way in the club. Yeah. Um, But just being out, prime mm -hmm. example, being out. I'm sitting in the tax office. Yeah. <laughs> and my tax is done. Girl come from the back. She look. Mm -hmm. And she look at me. Yeah. And she look at me again. And by that third look, I'm like, mm-hmm. I ain't finna say nothing, but I'm like, I'm knowing, like. Yeah, she know you from somewhere. Yeah, it's something, like, mm -hmm. she, so she sit down, she get on her phone. Yeah, she probably hit that. Yeah. Oh, no, she, that's no new. Then mm -hmm. she, me, she said, I knew that was you. <laughs> she said, I knew it was you. I knew it was you. Mm -hmm. Now, they don't come at me, uh. Like I'ma shoot them in there. Yeah. <laughs> nah, they yeah. be they they they'll make a little statement like, okay, now nah, don't shoot me. Yeah. Oh, y'all, you know, you know what I'm saying? They'll mm -hmm. make a statement like, I know you got it on you. Yeah, nah, you know facts. What I'm saying? Keep it on you. But nah, mm -hmm. they don't they don't be scared or nervous like I'ma shoot them in there. It's, it be with all love and respect. You know what I'm okay. saying? I'm because I'm nine times out of ten I'm normally out running around. Yeah. Running errands, not even mm -hmm. just worrying about whether somebody gonna mm -hmm. notice me or not. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. but you know now, like I'm saying, you are a public figure now. I appreciate you that. You know, so with that, make sure you you safe. You yeah, know what I'm saying? for sure. For sure. I don't go out no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm you telling you, if I'm the type of person, I'm gonna get up, mm -hmm. I'm gonna get dressed, and I'm gonna go somewhere by myself if I feel like it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Cause mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. just me. Nah, thanks. Nah, I sit down now. Yeah. <laughs> I don't go nowhere, and I definitely ain't going nowhere by myself. Okay. I don't, definitely don't want nobody sitting back, yeah. looking at me and being like, "Hmm, mm -hmm. let me try." Yeah. And then be for real, wanting to try me. Mm hmm. And don't get yeah, you can't even give nah, them that time. Yeah. Stay, stay away from the drama. Yeah, facts. Yeah. So you, this is my question. You know, before we head out and all that, like, so you know that little young boy you robbed for the little five hundred that he. <laughs> Yo, you think he coming back for you, yo? Skate. Yeah. You think he coming back, man? Because you kind of did him dirty, man. Skate. <laughs> I don't think Skate coming back. 
<laughs> okay. I might see him though, but I don't think he can. He ain't gonna come back with me. Okay. I don't think he gonna come yeah. back. Yeah. And I'm wishing you nothing but the best, you know, and everything that you're doing. Appreciate so, you know, that. With everything, you know, let them know where they could find all of your stuff at. So, I only have one social media. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's Instagram. That's going to be New New the Movie. Um, N-U-N-U-T-H-E-M-O-V-I-E. That's my mm -hmm. IG. Um, you can find me on YouTube as well. Uh, New New Atlanta Avenue. Mm -hmm. Um, and my music is on shit, iTunes and on our platforms. Um, the soundtrack, uh, new new soundtrack. Yeah. Shit, that's really it. Yeah, I don't keep up with a lot of social media, just one. Okay, just one. Too much going on on that. Nah, thanks. <laughs> Yeah. So with that, man, I appreciate you for coming through. Appreciate you for having me. Oh, facts. For real, really appreciate you. Yes, sir. Yeah. So you know, with that, that's episode thirty-one. Okay, three-one. Yeah. yeah, facts. Just like Reggie in the fourth, man. Ah, for real. <laughs> and just like that, we out of here. And I don't ever know this is not new. I'ma keep it gangster like no, no.